Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn about symmetry. Symmetry is a concept that is commonly found in math, especially geometry, but it is also often discussed in art and design. An object that has symmetry can be divided into identical pieces. When an object has symmetry, we say that it is symmetrical. When an object does not have symmetry, we say that it is asymmetrical. There are many different types of geometric symmetry, but today we are only going to talk about the simplest form, reflectional symmetry. An object or image that has reflectional symmetry is like a mirror image. If you were to draw an imaginary line down the center of a symmetrical object and fold it in half along that line, the shapes would match up. This imaginary line is called a line of symmetry. Some symmetrical objects only have one line of symmetry, while others have more. For example, this triangle only has one line of symmetry, straight down the middle, because if you try to divide it any other way, the pieces don't match up. This triangle, on the other hand, has three lines of symmetry. You could fold it here, here, or here, and each time the halves would be the same. A square has four lines of symmetry. You could divide it in half from left to right, top to bottom, or from corner to corner either way. Symmetry is often found in nature. One favorite example of this is a butterfly. When a butterfly folds its wings, it is easy to see that they are the same shape. Now that you know what symmetry means, see if you can find symmetrical objects near you. You may be surprised by how many things are symmetrical. Today, we will be creating our very own landscape using reflection symmetry and warm and cool colors. Take your paper and fold it in half horizontally. You want to see the horizon line. That horizon line will serve as a divider between the land and the water. You will need two different types of paint brushes, tempered paint, and water. The first thing you need to do is draw a paint, excuse me, a tree trunk. Paint that tree trunk to where it hits the middle line of your paper, that horizon line. Fold the paper in half and push down firmly. That is reflection symmetry. Now take your other brush, the one that has a thicker bristle, and take a little water and add red tempera paint. And with a tapping, dotting motion, go over each tree trunk with that red color. Once you've done applying the paint, you may fold it again and see the reflection symmetry. Ta-da! Now take the orange paint and go gently on top of that red color. and do that tapping motion, tap, 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 and just go directly on top of the red. So you are going to tap over the red paint with a little bit of orange, causing the colors to mix together, and it does create a very strong, bright fall painting. Press again, bam, reflection symmetry. And the very last color you're going to add is yellow. Put a little bit of yellow on top of the orange and the red, and one last time, close again and rub, rub, rub until you see it reflect again. On the bottom half of your paper, we are going to paint blue. This is to show that this is water. The trees are actually reflecting in the water below. So glide your paintbrush side to side and fill in that lower portion with blue.
In the sky, we also want to give a light blue color to the background. So we're going to add a lot of water and just a little tiny bit of blue. We want this color in the background to be a little lighter than the water. And this is actually a bit too dark. I would think a shade lighter like this is probably better for the sky in the background. Once you've painted in your sky and you have your water, we're going to come uh, behind the trees with a green line. This is going to show grass. You can paint that green line from side to side or up and down uh, going behind the trees. That is on the horizon line. You can go back over your tree trunks on the top and make them darker. Add some details to make your trees look more realistic. Again, you don't have to fold this down because those details won't be reflected as clearly in the water. So you can go back over and paint that one more time and make it a little darker. And once you have that painted in, you can come now with oil pastel. Now you can take oil pastel to add some details. I'm showing movement in my water by drawing some white lines, wavy lines, a few curved lines to give the water movement. You can also add details to your trees with a red, yellow, or orange oil pastel. You can add a detail to your tree trunk using brown or another oil pastel color. Go behind the grass, add some lines to make it look like the grass has movement and texture. When you're done adding those lines with oil pastel, sign your name at the bottom right corner. Now you don't want to sign your name too big, just little in the corner. You can use your initials or your name. Once those details are finished, project is complete. Happy painting and I can't wait to see your reflection symmetry designs.